Drop the gun! Show me your hand! Welcome to the Weekly Homicide Report, the weekly program where we talk about all the people that needlessly died at the hands of another person. Now let's take a look at this week's graph. Chicago continues its streak of double-digit homicide weeks, reporting 14 this week. They reported two mass shootings in the last seven days that resulted in 19 injuries, but fortunately, no deaths. Philly reported six and sits at 358. Last year at this time, they had 447, so they're 20% lower than last year's pace. The battle between New York and Houston is slowly being taken over by New York, who reported three this week, and Houston reported only one. I may need to look for another source for Houston as their numbers recently have been a little suspect. Our nation's capital added three and retains its lead over Baltimore, which reported only one this week. D.C. currently has 55 more this year than they had at this time last year. That's a 31% increase in homicides. They've already passed their yearly totals for every year going back 20 years except 2003 when they reported 248 but they should pass that by the end of November. And New Orleans added one. For the past couple weeks, I've been posting the murder rates of seven cities, and we're going to continue that this week. So look at this list of seven cities. One is better than the U.S. average, and three are worse than Chicago. Can you guess which ones are which? One is obvious, but the others might not be. So Boston is the one that is better than the U.S. average, and St. Louis, Las Vegas, Rochester, New York are all worse than Chicago. All seven of these cities have declining populations except Las Vegas. And considering the large number of tourists Vegas gets each year, most of which are drunk the whole time, Vegas is probably safer than this number suggests. Of these cities, San Francisco is declining the fastest, losing around 48,000 people a year since 2020. Boston would be next, as they're losing around 18,000 people a year. When you look at all these graphs side by side, you have Philly, Atlanta, Las Vegas, and Rochester, all with similar numbers. If someone would have asked you which one was worse, would you have guessed that all four are relatively the same? I'm going to continue to add these murder rates into this video, and these numbers are calculated using the 2023 numbers, so this is about as current as you're going to get for these rates in these cities. And for my regular viewers, I just want to say that from now to the end of the year, my work schedule is going to get a little crazy, and the videos will likely get a little less consistent. So there will be days that no videos post but I'll do my best to keep to my regular schedule and try not to miss too many days in a row. Well, that's all I have for you today, but I'll be back next week with the week 45 numbers. Until then, have a great week, and I'll catch you next week.